Hello, I'm Frida. So, now what are you going to do with this bat that we covered in my last video? Hint hint, go watch it. Here are three ways to spin from a bat. I am sure there are more ways, but here are three that I use all the time. First, you can spin directly from the bat. Just grab a corner and start drafting. Preferably with a spindle or a spinning wheel and not your fingers, but you get my point. You probably have to spend a bit more time drafting while you spin with this method, or you can just go with it and spin a more textured yarn. The second method is making a roving. Tear off a piece lengthwise with the fiber of the bat. And then start carefully drafting it out, making it longer and thinner. Pull carefully keeping your hands just a little wider apart than the fiber is long. The fiber becomes looser and fluffier this way. If you look closely here, you can see a spider rambling around my way and I'm really straining to sit still and ignore it. Then you twist it around your hand, pulling the ends through the middle and you have made yourself a fluffy spinnable little bird's nest. These are very easy to spin from. When you buy machine carded fiber it is often in a compact roving form looking something like this. The third method is making a row lag from the bat. So you start totally opposite to the roving method and tear off a piece against the fibers. Spread it out, making it thinner. And then you need a stick of some kind, not too thick, that you start rolling up the wool on. Rolling up a bit, pulling back, rolling up and pulling back. There are better surfaces than a wooden deck, but not much better lighting. Roll it with the fiber a few times and then just slide it off. These are sometimes called faux lags because traditional row lags are made between two hand carders. But the principle is the same. You have already started spiraling the fibers and it is now easy to, to continue to spin and draft from this. I hope this gave you some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. See you next time.